Alrighty, so I found the perfect RV for you. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Beacon by Van Lee, which is owned by Tiffin, is amazing. This is a 42 RKB. I think I got that right. And this is my first time ever seeing one of these rigs. Absolutely stunning. Like, words don't really explain what I'm seeing right now because I've never seen one this nice before. I like white and light. I love this darker wood trim pieces that they used. Love the darker couches. It just goes perfect. And to add on that, you have a rear kitchen with tons of countertop space. Tons of countertop space. And check this out. Pricing is right here for you. So this was $172,000 basically. Discounted 33,370 down to 137,799. That ain't bad. Um, this is a Tiffin owned company, which means you're gonna have that attention to detail and that quality that Tiffin has always had. Love how much countertop space this rig has. I'm glad my wife's not here. I say that a lot sometimes because my wife, she eats this stuff up. So let's get started. This one does have the residential farmhouse sink you would see at a house. Love the fixtures, it's in chrome. I prefer something a little different, but this is not bad. And down below you guys can see, this has deep storage. Wow. Pretty solid too, actually. They have the, uh, they have all the stuff under this, so that's gonna make it a little bit stronger too, which is good. On the side here, additional storage. Sorry about that camera view there, that was weird. And soft clothes. Now you guys can see that they are hiding the hardware. So it really does make it feel like a residential home. But there's so much storage down below here. Yeah, this is super nice. Top notch. And then this is your vent fan. They put it behind, oh, that's so cool. I've never seen that before. So you don't have to look at how ugly it is. That's, that's nice. And wow. They illuminate this area. It does have like a washout for the glass there. Drawers on the side, additional storage, maybe for like some baking pans that go in the oven. Power. You can probably put your trash can right there. More power. And I love the lighting system in here too. But let's go ahead and keep going. So on this side, they have a small area for storage, power station. They have an additional one right there. Residential LG refrigerator. So you know this is gonna have an inverter for this. Wow, check this out. Huge. And it's actually cooling up too. They just, they just hooked this one up to power. And it's already like pretty cold in here. It's pretty cool. Alrighty, let's keep going. So you're gonna have two slides out back so just keep that in mind so you have a window here on the side this is where you're gonna eat I love to eat and watch TV you can do that in this rig love that my wife hates watching TV she likes to talk and as we get down into the living area as you guys can see you have two big sofas they're basically love seats but you could probably sit three people here and JBL sound system they're doing that more often than not now in other rigs a bunch of power outlets cable Speakers, nice uh, fireplace. Love this wall here. Look how it looks. Looks good. Really like what uh, Van Lee has done. Check out this ceiling. Look at the lights. You have a ceiling fan, which I always recommend if you're looking at an RV. You want one of those in your RV. And this ceiling, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a vinyl material or leather, whatever you want to call it. And if you have to work while you're on the road, they give you a desk. And you can look out the window, so make sure you're pointing the RV in the right direction. Yeah, these are top-notch drawers. This does have a central vacuum and some lights on the side. This does have the prep for the Onan. I don't believe this one has the generator, but I will show you guys the outside of this rig. 
So let's see this. Wow. Really good storage in this rig. One last thing before I show you guys the front. You do have a screen right here on the side. I love this accent wall. And they do provide a handle to get up these steps to pocket door, dual sinks, dual vanities. You can sit down in the shower. It's a one piece shower. So it has that great design. This is like an RV. And repairable fiberglass. Huh. Isn't that something? Repairable fiberglass. Again, I've never seen this before. They're hiding that ugly vent fan so you don't have to see it. Good job. Porcelain toilet. And yeah, you have a bidet basically. So if you want to wash your butt, there you go. No more smelly people. Wow. I like that this isn't deep because when it's too deep, you can put a lot of stuff in there. Therefore, it just gets all jumbled around and messy. But yeah, look at the backsplash right here. This is like real, like I can feel the concrete in this. So guess what I'm trying to say? Love that they did this. The floors, I haven't really shown this to you. These are just, these are just like vinyl coverings. And then check out this pretty large bedroom. It's kind of small with the width, but it's good enough though. Wow, check out this. This is, this is amazing. I've been seeing RVs with fireplaces, things like that. And I'm pretty sure depending on what floor plan you get, this is not a big fifth wheel. If you get up to that 42, 44 foot, you start seeing more stuff like that. But they do provide the television inside of here. It's a large television too. Nice size window. And yeah, storage everywhere. Probably storage under the bed too. Not surprised. And you do have USB outlets on the side with a power plug. And just check out the, the balances around the windows too. I, I didn't really notice that till just now. And even the headboard is really top notch. LED lights everywhere. And they give you a sliding door for this area. So you can hang things or you can use this for a washer and dryer. You have enough storage to use this for washer and dryer too. I mean, look at that. It's a ton of space in this rig. Incredible that they give you those little bump outs there for the shoes. And then additional storage down below and right here. More places to hang things and they do provide lights for this area too. There it is. I don't know why I was showing it to you guys in the dark. Isn't that cool? Light switch is right here. This has been my favorite rig so far. I love this. It's really nice. Now let's go ahead and take a look on the outside. So this rig does have a really nice design on the outside. It's gonna be wide body. It's gonna have the Kurt pin box. So this is gonna be the Rotoflex. I'm seeing that a lot more now. This door is really heavy. So it's already prepped as you guys saw on the inside for a uh, Onan generator, dual battery box. You're gonna have hydraulic system for the level up. And this is how you know this is a Tiffin rig because I've never seen a safeguard on a fifth wheel. I've always seen these on class A's, that's high end. So that's pretty cool that they do that on this rig too. I think that's the daisy chain system over there. And I'm surprised that they're still even offering this for this type of coach. That's just to charge the battery, it's like a trickle charger. They've already prepped the outside so you don't have to cut the hole in the rig for you, for your washer and dryer, most likely for your dryer. I mean, just look at the, the 
attention to detail too. They did not do anything cheap on this rig. They are using 30 pound propane tanks. Surprise. This is gonna have a drop frame. Now notice how they use this trim piece all the way right here to kind of hide that drop frame too. I like that they did that. And that's gonna give you that height that you see inside the basement. It's gonna be your central vacuum, some of your outlets there, battery disconnect. And that's gonna be, is that gonna be your inverter? I've been getting it wrong here a few times. But yeah, that is an inverter for sure. They normally put it on the driver's side. Alrighty. This is going to be a rack and pinion slide out with a slide topper. And a huge awning. There's your JBL speakers. And then these are going to be the Lippert solid steps too. I'm seeing these a lot more. And they have really wide steps too. Look at that. And like the sides of these are really thin. They have a handle to get you in and out. Now this is gonna be a Schwintec. I noticed that they did not put a slide topper on this one, however. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they will or they weren't able to make it fit. So something to consider there. And check out the storage you have. Because you have that raised kitchen, this most likely may have uh, i don't see that as a drop frame i don't see that as a drop frame but check out your storage huge so you could take a lot of weight off the front of this rig and put it back here they have like a bumper right here led lights and this is going to be a trap door for that residential refrigerator. And check this out. I wanted to buy one of these for my rig. I, was, I think it was 800 bucks. It was smaller than this. So this is, wow. This is really heavy too. And here's your ladder to get up there. And you have a power <laughs> for your for your electric cord. Isn't that crazy? 50 amp. Love that they did that. And I think you guys noticed that spare tire right there. And then I can give you a better look at the tires. Now these aren't Westlake tires. These are not terrible. I've heard Westlake tires are hit or miss but these are 215 75 17 and a half 16 ply and it's gonna have 4805 pounds of capacity at a hundred and twenty three psi is cold 123 psi is cold interesting they're already filled with nitrogen air road armor is the suspension upgrade that they've done another rack and pinion slide and then this one's gonna be a Schwintec slide and these both have slide toppers and the front one is a Schwintec with a slide topper too. And then that's where you're going to dump at. This is going to be the back of your water heater through Dometic. And then that's your suburban furnace. Wow. I don't really like this on paint. That's not a good design. But let's see here, this is 10 gallon, 10 gallon water heater. I was looking for the valves to pull and I just noticed that they have the actuated valves through Valterra. I was gonna add this to my fifth wheel but I got talked out of it. Not because of that it's not reliable, because of the price. But yeah, all you have to do is push this and the valves open for you, love that. And you can do a tank fill or you can just keep it on the city. And then here's where your hoses would go. Love this setup, love, love, love this. You have your water filter. And I like that it's not a part of the basement. It's gonna be for your auto leveling. But yeah, check this out. Really nice. And then this area here 
It's going to be for your other propane. 30 pounds. Now you're probably wondering how heavy is this rig? Can your truck pull it? Let's see right now. So gross fuel weight rating is going to be 18.5. So it's not too bad. I was thinking 20,000, but 18.5. Gross axe weight rating is going to be 8,000 a piece. And all in cargo carrying capacity is going to be 3,100 pounds. And the dry weight is pretty much the exact same online. So it's going to be 15.4. Now let me show you one last thing. If you do go on VanLeeRV.com, you can build the 2023 Beacons. And check out some of the color schemes that they have available for this rig. Uh, one of my favorites is this waterfall. The one you saw in the video is the silver sand. And this is also another good color too. And then they have about nine different floor plans to choose from. We're gonna just click the 42 RKB, since that's the one that I reviewed. And there's two different interior designs you can choose from. You can also pick the furniture color you like, like for the chairs, and then the wood finishes. And here's some of the options. I did select a few for you, like the dishwasher, the 8K disc brakes. Third AC unit is a definite check mark, depending on where you live at. And the Liberate on the go ladder is a good idea. Splendid front load washer and dryer. They also have the Truma on demand water heater. And the slide awning package is optional. That surge guard was optional too. And hey, if you're going to be spending this kind of money, I would definitely just go ahead and do the solar prep too. They don't give you any pricing, but I'd venture to say with these options, you're probably going to add about close to 10 to 15 grand, if not a little bit more than that because of the solar. I'm not sure what this adds. It does not say here. But I uh, hope you guys like the video. Be sure to comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.